Are we on, Mother? Hello. Yeah, yeah, the green lines yeah, are going yeah. like that. Right. We've been on this beautiful mooring. I, I, I'm going to overlay a, a clip of it while we're rabbiting well, on. Well, you know them swanny things? Uh, oh, yeah. Adult swans. Yeah. One of the adult swans has just wrung the baby swan's neck like this. Well, we trapped one between the boat and the bridge yesterday. It, same, it, same lot, Ryan, if you're watching. And it kind of, um, our way through it. What was the boat coming? It pooed itself. It did. Uh, anyway. <laughs> On that lovely note. We ended the last video. We were, we were going to go down to have a word with Ermintrude. But anyway, no, before, you, down there. before you get into that, you know the swan we were just on about, the baby? It was fine, we didn't touch it. We just scared it. Uh, yeah, if we, we killed asked, it. No, we didn't. No, 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 no. 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 It just, we just scared the poo of it, but it literally, it, it was fine afterwards. It just, it just got but a bit anyway, close to the bridge. We went down, Ermintrude lives about <laughs> two miles in that direction. There was a boat coming in both directions. Uh, but somebody tipped her off because she wasn't there. So anyway, we, we've stayed here at the most remote mooring, although we're, we are at a great collision risk. I, mean, I did say <laughs> that I would have gone about half a boat that way, but... Yeah, but that's too close to the no, bend. No, no, there's but just a little bit. If you look over right, the trees see where that there. Bush is? That's where I would have put me back in, so I cut a third of a boat. No. Well, well, we'll find out in a minute, because anyway, there's two boats. He came to me this morning, right, so he comes to me and he goes, right, when do you want to move? And I said, it's up to you. And he said, no, 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 I'm not having that. And he made a big thing about, about you know, I needed to make the choice. And I said, well, whatever I decide, you'll just go back on it anyway. So then I said, all right, we'll go tomorrow. So it's agreed we're going tomorrow. So that's why we're going today. See, he does what he wants anyway. I don't know why you bother asking. Well, we've got to go back. <laughs> I don't want to bore the lady and gentleman. And, and we're all right because Judy won't be watching anymore. Oh, stop being mean about Judy. But we've... We, we're desperately waiting on information from the hospital and I have a telephone consultation that in a couple of days, so we've got to what get What are you going to do if Judy is actually just Judy? Oh! That would be funny. Oh! If it was just Judy. What a dilemma. My goddess, just Judy. Or it could be Judy from Richard and Judy. Oh, she's just a he will be. I'll believe that's defamation, out. so he will be bleeping that out. Well, no, it's just, just a known fact that she's. That that's defamation. Be hey. Anyway, we're going. <laughs> and we're off. We lost a fender yesterday, didn't we? We snagged it on a bridge, but I, I, there was a boat coming the other way, so we, did, focus, we didn't have time to go back and pick it up, but I did tell them that if they could stop, they could have it. Ethel was doing that thing where she's hmm. pacing. Ethel was about 20 miles from left to right. Why are you giving me that? Because it... Uh, anyway, first obstacle... Oh, it's where? Where? First obstacle of the day, just around the corner, is the, I think I used to be a bridge once, but not for a long time. Which we've done about 50,000 million times, or, or at least six times. And we are getting better at it. Oh? Yeah. Anyway, nothing to see here. Now, first thing this morning, there was a floating island here of clumps of reeds, and I don't know where it's gone. It must have moored itself, trying to reattach itself, but it was, it was a big, a big clump of reeds. See how, I could, there's a load of cows there, but if you mention Ermitroon's name, they all just walk away. And again, John's wearing one of my t-shirts. Yeah, but I, I painted in this. Right, when it was... Got primer on it. When it was brand new and it still had its label on, John did what he usually did. Where do you find your clothes, John? Oh, just anywhere. <laughs> Whose wardrobe, John? 
any, any wardrobe any. on the floor behind the settee so he goes into my wardrobe takes a brand new t-shirt with the label on brand new rips the label off and then paints in it <laughs> it was only primer yeah, the... <laughs> well red oxide okay what was that coat that we it didn't come out that we shared a coat the first time we went out in it, what did you do? Debenhams, their yeah. quality is no wonder they've gone bust. Well, to be honest, the quality was shocking. It used to be good, and then in the last couple of years before they went bust, it was terrible. Anyway, but the other nice jacket that I bought from Debenhams was also, you know, you don't believe this, but that was also a shared one. Well, you didn't didn't get much sharing out of it. I love like either one because you brought that one as well. I, I reserved it for posh occasions, so it's been worn twice, I think. But the one time when it wasn't being used for a posh occasion, I was painting the wrought iron gates. See, this is what I'm And I got black um, John. aldite on it. You keep painting in my clothes. Do we look as though we're bothered about how we look? No, but... Well, actually, I've got no in my... Look, oh, oh. I've got loads of that. What's all this blood here? I know I was going to ask you yesterday. Oh, that's some really leaky head. Anyway, we better go because this thing that isn't a thing's up here. That was a nine out of ten. See what they do though. There's there's reeds lurking. It's a bit like, what's that thing what? with that disgraced television presenter? Well, don't, if it's disgraced television presenter... Not the Krypton Factor. Um, Crystal Maze? No, no. Oh, anyway. The one with the disgraced television presenter, where you had to do challenges. Oh. Oh. Don't lose it. And cut. I've just remembered. It's a knockout. Whoa. Cut. That's the bit where there's always somebody painting a boat. Well, you think that's where they, they come to paint the boat, they can't do it on the F of them? It's just around, the, around there. But there's a boat there been there a while. Nice man. Nice man, lovely dog. But he's been there a while. But hey ho, who are we to say? I mean we did 35 and a half hours. I don't know. 34 hours. 47 hours 47. on a 48 hour morning. 46 and a half. Why do you keep going on about the 48 hour morning if we did 46 and a half? I'm trying to show everybody how re respectful we are of the rules. Oh, he's like one of them that I never broke pandemic rules. I never broke lockdown no, I rules. I did, and if I was prime minister, I'd be gone by now. <laughs> Next. Can I just say that this hat is probably the best hundred quid I've ever wasted. It's as light as a feather. It still looks clean, even though I've worn it. We had this one, we had mucker, so I've had this out at least four years. I don't get sponsored by Tilly. Dragonfly. I told you before, I don't work for anybody. I'm retired. I'm one of them sponges who lives off my pension. But what used to happen with mucker, because I, I'm very, I don't like the heat, and we think that's something to do with my condition can't cope with the heat. The previous video, if anybody's bothered, was where we had ice cubes under this to try and cool me down. But what used to happen on mucker, it used to, re the, the, the noise of the engine used to bounce up and reverberate under these. <laughs> and it was like a, a, a tuning trumpet or whatever. So I couldn't wear it much on mucker because I couldn't hear myself think. But, uh, slow down. But it doesn't seem to have that effect on this boat. 
We're just going over the aqueduct at Aqueduct Marina. And blink and you'll miss it. Well, you will miss it because I'm stopping the camera. Bit of confusion at the lock. That chap we just passed has just come out. He said there's another one coming down, but there's a boat here. It's not clear if he's in the queue or if he's just moored in a weird place. I think he's moored in a weird place. Enough of that. I can see the, the water's coming down the lock. I can see it's nearly level. They come out, I'll go in. Jobs are good. Okay. I've just been told I've got no sense of humour. Ah. Ah. Sorry? Ah. He's talking to a woman at the lock and he keeps shouting to me, Anne. So Anne, when Tom Tailly kept, boat Anne, lovely Anne. Tom first met Anne in Morrison's oh, in Market yeah, I Drayton. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm there in Morrison's. And she was just clocking off, and somehow got into a conversation with her about she was narrow wearing boats. A, a canal river, just that. Ah, uh, and she was a volunteer at Tailly Locks, and she said, "I'm on tomorrow." And that just happened Could, to be the day that we so, were going to. Well, no, we were going to go that day, but we decided to go the next day when she was on. And she helped us through all five locks, her, her and a, a gentleman friend. In the friend. heat, it was, dead, it was dead hot, and she helped us. And, and there she night. is again. See She's on own. her way to Liverpool. She's on her way to Liverpool, on her own. She shouldn't say that. Shouldn't say that. Well, it'll be Christmas when this goes out. But, yeah. Is it's that a nest? Or was that n was a nest? I think it's... Um, it's all flattened down. Something out of Jurassic Park. No, with it being flattened there. down like that, I think that's been a swan's nest. Oh. Uh, not an elephant's nest. It's not Hermitrude, is it? Oh, What's going on about that cow? You upset? Have, I have to have a word with her. What's, what can I see? Oh, Two people and a swan. Uh, anyway, that was Anne from Turley. Anyway, I'm going down. Well, we're nearly back. What, what do you, I was we, just about uh, to say, sorry, we've got rubbish all over it throughout the boat. How would, how would you rate this trip? Been great, but housekeeping hasn't done a very good job. The boat's in, this, in a mess. Well, we forgot to pick them up. What? We need a nanny. Yeah. We do actually need a nanny. Position, uh, apply via I comments, mean, please. We I want mean, to be a nanny. I have noticed. If you're 18 and slim and male, you've probably got a Be good eight. chance. You sound like a pervert. Oh. I was, thinking I was 19 when I met you. I was thinking it was for you. It, do you know what? I'm 37. It, if a 37 year old got a 19 these days, it'd be like a hashtag me movement kind of issue. Yeah, but you knew what you were doing. We're on about how sweet and innocent. Yeah. I think arsenic has the same values. Next. Hello. I know it's not school holiday time yet, but it is early July. Well, early, early to mid July. We've seen one or two boats on the move, but all the popular mooring spots that we've passed, there's been nobody on them. And we're not quite sure where everybody's going. It's like we're just coming up to Sykes Hollow and there's one boat. The visitor morning at Church Mitchell, there was one boat. 
the visitor mooring now at aqueduct there was one boat so where's everybody well we're nearly home now and then we'll have a leisurely decamp and then go back to see what post is waiting one, one of the reasons we've been out for a week is because I just get so anxious waiting for mail from the hospital that I thought we'd, we, last time we went away we set a camera up on the letterbox so we could see if there's any post but I decided we're having a week away and chances are when I get back there won't be anything because as I said the other day the NHS they're all tired and that I'm but never mind. We're nearly back. And to be honest, we don't know when we'll be doing any more cruising or videoing. I'm in the laps of the NHS, I'm afraid. But it's not like, you know, we, we don't do this for a living. We don't, we don't do it for, for anything. So we're not, you know, oh, five o'clock, it's Friday, it's Cracker Jack. We, we, we don't do any of that. We just do them as and when, but at this moment in time, it's hard to tell. Because until until I start getting some treatment, I'm exhausted all the time. So yes, yesterday we had a lovely cruise and we didn't get any cameras out because I think I've been putting too much pressure on myself. Because it's not just the video here. It's, it's getting it all off the cameras onto the computer and then editing it. And when, when you're trying to do fine movements on a computer keypad with this, trust me, it's exhausting. So this isn't farewell, but what it is is, don't, don't hold your breath. Anyway, I'll call it an end there, because you don't want to see us crashing into the gap. Well, if you do, the front camera will catch it, so. Au revoir. Okay, everything's good. Turn. Turn. <laughs>